everyone. Uh, my name is Tomasz Stanczak from Nazemind. Uh, I started this project one year ago. Uh, Piotrek is with me here. It's uh, our developer that joined a few weeks back. Uh, so with Nethermind, we build a .NET implementation of full Ethereum protocol, which means the FP2P, it means Ethereum virtual machine, all the block verification, synchronization, private chains, mainnet, drops, and so on. Um, yeah, so we already say we have the first version to, to download from our downloads page, and we encourage you to go there and see our packages for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, let's say cross-platform release. Uh, we continue to add all the missing functionalities. Uh, we keep building on top of what we already have. Uh, we add functionalities that will be needed for the open source development on top of it. So uh, obviously you have Geth, you have uh, Parity, and, uh, and this, is, uh, this is as much as we, uh, as we go, so we have the full implementation. Uh, and if for any reason, valid or not, uh, you or your clients want to go with .NET Core solutions, if this is the uh, technology that you, that you feel more confident with, then uh, definitely would like to, uh, to go and try to experiment with Nethermind. Um, so when we, when we were applying for, for a grant uh, that was, uh, I think, late, uh, late June, we were still uh, working with Robston Testnet, now we have uh, multiple runs when we did the full sync, uh, full archive note on the mainnet. Uh, and this goes very well. We have uh, good performance stability. Uh, and uh, obviously this is uh, all open source for you. We also uh, build the tools uh, that uh, we'll be targeting in the financial industry mainly, but also the cybersecurity companies, all the uh, fraud detection for extracting the data from the node in uh, real time. So we analyze the pending transactions, we analyze the transactions before they even uh, fully executed on the block. So we, we stream the data while the contracts are changing. We stream the data about uh, whatever our customers are interested in. Uh, whether these are exceptions, storage changes, uh, whether these are some specifics of the uh, network parameters. Um, so the GitHub page that we encourage you to visit, we slowly build a community around the project. Uh, we see more and more contributors, people uh, add more test networks uh, support. So uh, literally last, last few days we had contributions for the Covan connectivity, uh, sorry, Winkeby. Uh, Kovan is coming next, I think, and then uh, then we should have uh, the upcoming, I think, the Gurley is coming uh, in the future. Uh, Ethereum 2.0, so we, we're following the research on this one, and we believe strongly that uh, we'll have the firepower to deliver also the beacon chain, so will be there with all the other uh, implementation in March. Uh, we have the same confidence, and we're confident that uh, we'll deliver the the main net, and now we can go forward and go forward at the at the edge of the progress of what's uh, happening in Ethereum ecosystem. Uh, so that's that's what I was mentioning: the real-time data streaming, but also uh, since we have this uh, client full implementation and the ability to to meddle with the internals of it of the protocols, uh, we plan to to build all the integrated tools on top of it for, for trading, for pricing, for better modeling. And we hope that will lead to, to improvements of the market's maturity, of the ability of people to find the intrinsic value of Ethereum based on gas, based on the uh, network characteristics, and so on and so on. I want to deliver that uh, to our customers. Uh, thank you so much. I'll show you in a moment the, uh, the running note. However, uh, as you will see, this is as much as we can go with the with the UI in our world, and uh, even here you can complain that the color of the logs is maybe not the perfect. Um, so, so this is the live demo in a way that uh, on the right side you'll see the uh, public mainnet synchronizing. It started a synchronization uh, just a few hours ago, I think, um, and this is probably not the fastest possible because of the uh, network parameters here. Uh, on the left side. Uh, not the perfect split screen, but uh, what we have here is the, uh, the our private network that we just uh, spawned for some uh, gaming solution on the private network. So uh, this is something that we show that can run with Truffle when we just uh, run Truffle test. Obviously, it's something that we would uh, normally run against Ganache or 
or something else, but, uh, but obviously we'll support all the JSON RPC calls in the latest releases. This is not what you can download yet, but uh, soon in our next release, you should have all the JSON RPC support, more test nets, uh, better performance over time, uh, and more and more functionality. Uh, and this is mainly what I wanted to say, even as I have some time remaining. Uh, five minutes was more than enough to show you what we have uh, now. And uh, thank you so much. And we invite you to talk to us uh, more about the solution, uh, test it, experiment with it, download, come and join us on Gitter, on GitHub, and so on. Thank you so much. <laughs>